frogs are amazing animals. Despite their fragile appearance and inoffensive ways, they have countless strategies to deal with the most severe climates this planet has to offer. They can be found at the Arctic Circle, in deserts, in tropical rainforests, and practically everywhere in between. Some of their survival strategies are nothing short of ingenious. Various frog species use two strategies to deal with environmental extremes, hibernation and estivation. This is Gateway to Knowledge and today I will let you know about how do frogs survive during winter and why don't they actually freeze to death during the winter. Hibernation is a common response to the cold winter of temperate climates. After an animal finds or makes a living space that protects it from winter weather and predators, the animal's metabolism slows dramatically, so it can sleep away the winter by utilizing its body energy stores. When spring weather arrives, the animal wakes up and leaves its hibernation period to get on with the business of feeding and breeding. Aquatic frogs such as leopard frog and American bullfrog typically hibernate underwater. A common misconception is that they spend the winter the way aquatic turtles do, dug into the mud at the bottom of a pond or stream. In fact, hibernating frogs would suffocate if they dug into the mud for an extended period of time. A hibernating turtle's metabolism slows down so drastically that it can get by on the only supply of oxygen. Hibernating aquatic frogs, however, must be near oxygen-rich water and spend a good portion of the winter just lying on the top of the mud or they may even slowly swim around from time to time. Terrestrial frogs normally hibernate on land. American toads and other frogs that are actually good diggers bury themselves in the deep soil, safely below the freezing line. Some frogs such as the wood frogs and the spring peppers are not adaptive of digging the soil, so they hide out at deep cracks and surfaces of logs and rocks. These hibernating frogs are not as well protected from the frigid weather and may freeze along with their inhabitants. And yet the frogs do not die? Why? Antifreeze This is true enough because ice crystals are formed in the body cavity and the bladder under the skin. But because of the high concentration of glucose in the frog's vital organ prevents freezing. A partially frozen frog will stop breathing and its heart will stop beating. It will appear quite dead. But when the hibernating frog warms up above freezing, the frog's frozen portion will thaw and its heart and lungs will resume its activity. So such a frog will be considered as a living dead. The second adaptive method for the frogs living in extreme environment is estivation. Estivation is similar to hibernation. Several species of frog are known to estivate. Two of the better known species are the ornate horned frog from South America and the African bullfrog. When the dry season starts, these frogs bury themselves into the soil and become dormant. During the extended dry season, which can last several months, these frogs perform a neat trick. They shed several intact layers of skins, forming a virtually waterproof cocoon that envelops the entire body, leaving only the nostrils exposed, which allows them to breathe. These herpetological mummies remain in their cocoons for the duration of the dry season. When the rain returns, the frogs free themselves of their shrouds and make their way up through the moist soil to the surface. So this was a short introduction about how the frogs adapt themselves to remain in extremely changing environment. If you loved my today's video then hit the like and subscribe to my channel. But before leaving, if you want to read some amazing books or you want to buy something from an online store, then below in the description is a link of my Amazon account. Go and check it out.